Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello and good morning farmers. Welcome back to Hawks Bay. The rain has finally stopped. We can get to work. Hopefully uh, <laughs> earn some money today. That's that's all I'm hoping for. That is all I'm hoping for on this map right now. Uh, soybeans. Uh, so we're going to harvest some soybeans first. Uh, so what I got going, I got the harvester over here. He's taking care of the corn so we can finish feeding our pigs. I got the herbicide sprayer here. He's taking care of some weeds here, and then he's going to move on over to here. Uh, I got my fertilizer sprayer. He's getting ready to go. Um, I'm actually going to grab uh, the Massey Ferguson. That's what I wanted. Going to drop him off there. We're going to come over and grab the plow. He's going to grab the plow and head over to the cornfield. He's going to start plowing that. I want to replant corn in that field once again. Uh, the pigs are going to require it. And I'm going to drive through these hedges because I don't care anymore. This is non-realistic series right here. Um, we got $20 million to pay off at some point, so I need to get we need to get there somehow. Oh, yeah. We're just, it's just like a never-ending battle right now. Like, but I keep saying, we're going to get there. We are going to get there. Alright, so we'll unload that, or unfold that, I should say, not unload it. Alright, let's get course play going. Uh, you're going to do that. Um, course generation, this is field 52. Uh, up and down, calculate. That should be good. And uh, you, sir, can just go ahead and drive the course. Um... You gonna put the plow down at some point? Oh, you wait until you get in there. That's genius of you. Um, so I know when it needs plowing. Does it need lime or anything? Oh, it needs lime too. Okay, uh, that whatever. Uh, you just do your thing, and I mean, you got enough to do today, so you're good. As for our corn, he's going along there. Um, do I have a truck up here to empty out the soybeans? I do not. I don't even know where half my stuff is, to be honest with you. Um, I think one of my trucks was at the BGA. There we are. Uh, nope. I want you to actually unload the rest of that slurry, please. Is my truck here? Uh, truck trailer. Trailer. Uh, we'll unload the rest of that. So, midnight came and gone. Uh, between the BGA, what we sold here, and the interest on our loan. It, kind of balance itself out a little bit so um all's well that ends well kind of even on that i'm going to assume helper e is the guy with the corn uh, let's get rid of the rest of that manure that we have and this guy needs to go up to the north end and help out that harvester so on we go We'll get to the other harvester in a second. I'm pretty sure that's the one that, like I said, is 80% full. Helper B is blocked by an object. I don't know why is Helper B still going. That was a small field. Um, he should have been done by now. Unless he already moved on. The fields are kind of close and he's got such a wide working width. He may have picked up the weeds in the other field and started working on that. So up here, obviously the hops are ready. Um, you saw we're harvesting the soybeans. I, I really don't remember what's in that field, but that field's ready as well. <laughs> I think everything up here we're going to sell. Sell, sell, sell. I'm going to replant canola in one of these fields up here so we can feed the pigs at some point. But that's why the... That's why uh, I left a fence up here. He's going to be reseeding this field as soon as he can. But I probably should fill it up. Uh, actually, let me pull this guy a little bit more out of the way here. Um, who is, who is what and where? Someone's blocked somewhere. I don't know. Uh, let's hop in this truck here. <laughs> He's the one with the corn. Yeah, so if you're new to Hawk, my Hawk Space series, it's pretty much me just running around with my head cut off. Uh, try to run all this machinery and equipment at the same time. I'm never on one job probably for more than a minute or two. And just ignore the floating. I'm still on the original version of Hawks Bay. 
Um, I would like to upgrade to the second or the, the newest version of it, but the problem is I would have to restart a save game. Or, re or yeah. Oh no, he's full. I was hoping you would get to the end. So yeah, if I were to do the newest version of Hawks Bay, I would have to uh, create a new save game. And uh, I'm just too far into this one to do that. So yeah, if you see any mistakes or anything in the map, that's because I'm on the original version. A lot of these things have been fixed. All right, sir, uh, you need to be fired. And I need to get the header stuck on the truck. Alright. So, yeah. So we need lime here. I need to cultivate this as well. Um, where is... Where would have my herbicide sprayer have gone? Wait, is that you? What are you doing over here? That's kind of a weirdish angle. So in that field right there, we do have some carrots. I don't think they're ready yet, but now it's weed free. I need to fold my sprayer so I can get through here. And not good enough. There we go. So we have plenty of herbicide, hopefully to take care of this field. And I kind of forgot what's in this field as well. One easy way to find out is hop out. Mill it. Alright. Let's get you somewhat lined up here. Yeah, so all the crop up north and even the millet, this crop right here, uh, will be sold. Nothing restored for the animals. The uh, new fruit types, if you will, you cannot feed these to the animals. At least that I'm not aware that you can. All right, sir, can you please fertilize our carrots so we can get a good crop of uh, good yield of carrots in, well, however long it takes. There we go. Uh, back to here. The one thing I don't know if he did fix in the updated versions, every once in a while you hear like water. <laughs> it's like there's not, I'm not anywhere near a stream or anything. It could be uh, there's a water table underneath the map. And it could, that's why I could be hearing it. All right, sir, you go on ahead. And since this truck is pretty well full, we're going to head on over to the pigs. And I know there's one set of pigs that I need to top off, or at least get somewhat top. I don't think any of them are really topped off on corn. Yeah, this is what I'm saying about the pigs and corn. Uh, they pretty much all. Not, oh yeah, they just they're just oh wow, just yeah, four pens, four large pens of pigs. It's um, starting from day one and trying to keep up with them. <sighs> Part of me keeps thinking you know what let's just grab all the pigs sell them all and uh, we'll not sell them all but then we'll transfer some of the pigs into, and we'll just have one pen and uh, the other half of me says nope we're going to see this through and we are alright so the Massey Ferguson is getting along fine the only issue I have with this map because it's rather killy so you get that implement like right there it's just too wide and it gets hung up in little valleys and, and ridges and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the problem is with the big fields, you kind of need this kind of stuff. I think I said the pink pig. Pink pig. Wow. I can't speak. Uh, never can. Uh, the pink pigs are the ones that kind of need like the most corn. Uh, but we're going to top them off. And yes, they do need to be cleaned. Uh, can I get the trigger, please? Am I stuck on the... Yeah, I'm stuck on the food. They get what they get. They may take all 90,000 liters as well. And the thing is, these pens are not even full yet. And that's what stings. I mean, this... 
you saw, I mean, they weren't empty. I mean, they were they were decently, I mean, like half filled, and they just took 90,000 liters of corn. Um, where are they, the pink ones? Yeah, so right now they're at 170,000 liters, and they're not even full. And they can still put in another, wow, my math is bad, 87 pigs. So they're probably going to take like 200,000 liters per pen. And with all the helpers I got, I have no idea who helper I is. Uh, but we'll find them on the map. We'll find them somewhere. Get this truck back to the cornfield. Don't drive off the edge, Peanut. Uh, I have to get that guy fertilizing once again. Helper I. Is it my herbicide sprayer? No, he's moving. Sometimes my workers are blocked by an object and I don't see nothing there. And it could be maybe just his terrain or something. All right, sir, you can just park like right here. Is it my harvester up here? What kind of a wee job was this? What, what, what happened? Ah, <sighs> that's helper J. I mean, was this guy the helper I? Now, my, I know my herbicide sprayer got stuck here as well. All right, once I fold it in, I can unfold it once again. And you can go on and spray that. So how are we doing here? So now what I want to do, uh, the good thing about this field up here, it needs nothing. So what I'm going to do is, since we're kind of waiting, We'll grab our fed tractor, head over to the refill points. Yeah, I bought the auger wagon. Uh, well, I bought everything like episode one. I thought, yep, yeah, we'll just use the auger wagon to refill everything. And after a while, it's like, nope, not going to happen. So like I said, um, it's already set for canola. Wait, did I not just fill up the seed? Okay. There it goes. Somehow I fill up with artificial fertilizer when that was, I don't know. It's been a long day. I don't know what I'm doing, like always, but more so than ever. So, yep, the soybeans are being sold outright. I don't care if the price is maxed out. Um, I actually want to see the 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 money start getting up. Uh, once the, once I get up around half million dollars, we'll start paying off some of the loan. If I ever get up to half million dollars, uh, the good news is the sheep have actually uh, filled all of their pallets, so I had to do that over overnight. So they're starting to, you know, they'll start making us money. Uh, the horses are just doing the horse thing uh, with a horse helper. Um, I wonder if I should set this guy off now already. I think he'll be okay. And I'm trying to line this up like I need to be perfect. As you can tell on this map here, um, this seed drill misses spots. I don't know if that's something to do with the hills on the map or whatnot. Um, I'll tell you what. We're going to take the truck on down and we're going to empty out the harvester. We'll give the harvester a little bit more leeway. Just because I don't want the seed drill being slowed down by the harvester. This field is a big one. So hopefully if everything goes to plan. An hour after this episode goes out. I have a special episode coming out on Farming Simulator. And if you're not catching this video until later in the day after it's been released. 
um, you probably already see what it's all about. But I can't say because if you're seeing this right as this video has been released, I don't want to give away what the video is going to be about. So you'll have to wait. And like I said, if, you, if you're if you watching it later on, then you kind of already know anyways. Give us the soybeans. And I'm pretty sure I got him emptied out. There we go. You can just park right here for now. Um, how are we doing over here on everything? Are we really uh, done harvesting corn? It looks like we are. Now what I'm going to do is, since I don't have any more fields down here that need to be harvested, we are going to send this harvester up and do the hops. He's already got the header on needed for hops. So we'll send him up there and get him uh, going. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to unload the harvester, get him up there. He'll start harvesting the hops. I need to take care of my fertilizer sprayer. Uh, looks like my herbicide guys, it's about done. I got to get rid of the corn, feed some more pigs, and I'll bring it back in just a little while. Well, I thought I would bring it back just so we can see what we get all these hops. I mean, they seem rather tall. It almost looks like they might even regrow, which would be weird. Um, trying to see how it fills up. Not too bad. But I mean, can you imagine? I don't, well, you know what? Let's try it. Let's go in cab. It's going to be a terrible view, I can imagine. Uh, yep. <laughs> kind of hard to see what's going on there. I thought you'd bring it back just to show you how the hops are harvested there. I got a, on a worker now. It almost looks like they could regrow, doesn't it? But it says it's been harvested. It doesn't say it's growing. So we're going to let him go. I got soybeans are going. Um, I'm going to come back here. Like I said, I'm going to go feed some pigs. Uh, I'm going to get the T9 actually going over here, start cultivating. I'm going to try to get some work done around here. And uh, yeah, see if we can sell some stuff and watch the money go up. Well, we have a full truck of soybeans. Uh, 1700 and something is the going price right now up here which is not far from the field we're working on. And somebody is empty. I don't know who would be empty. I have no idea. I gotta check on that. Uh, someone's empty. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe our fertilizer sprayer might be empty. Anyways, 90,000 liters of soybeans at 17 and change. Guess it's 155 grand. Uh, yeah, so we're just right here, not too far. This is, uh, why, why did you stop? Why would you stop right there? I'll hire a worker so I don't get any crop destruction. All right, now we'll fire you. Uh, probably should give myself a little bit more room than that, but we're fine, we're fine. Give us some more soybeans. We're almost back up to half a million dollars where I got to spend everything again. And that's going to be, why didn't you harvest that? Why? Why are you not harvesting? What is the deal? Okay, so you let me harvest. Interesting. You gonna harvest that? Are you sure now? All right, I think he's sure. So, some sad news. Uh, yeah, I gotta plow this field. Oh man, never ends. Never ends. Yes, I could probably turn off plowing and all that, but then, you know, I wanna make it easier. Uh, I'm enjoying the challenge of trying to get this $20 million loan paid off. 
Help her D. I stopped on expecting any unknown reason. Is it that harvester again? Yes, it is. What? What's going on here? What is going on? It's soybeans. Oh, uh, there's some lovely hops. Uh, so what do I have to do here to get this guy to... I don't know what his problem is. We're destroying soybeans here as we speak. So I can't harvest it, but I'm destroying the crop. I have no idea what is happening here. Well, I finally got that harvester doing canola kind of going, so hopefully there is no more issues there. Uh, but that would be very frustrating if I got a full field of canola that I cannot harvest. Uh, but while we're waiting for those harvesters to fill up, and of course we got the Massey Ferguson plow and the T9 cultivating, um, we're going to take care of the animals. That's mostly what this map is about. And also the, the big loan, but we have the big loan because of the animals. So, need to clean them on out. One, it'll give them more food. It'll boost their uh, productivity up a little bit. It's down to, down to about 90% or so. Uh, then we're going to go back to the main farm to clean out those animals. We will get the loading wagon. Hook this up to the John Deere. And we need to fill these guys up with straw. And also, uh, got to do some water back for the cows and the sheep as well. But I want to clean these guys up first before we head back. Uh, I assume that's the hops harvester that we just got the message that he was 80% full. But I'm not down all the way. Man. There we go. But once again, uh, that cornfield we just finished harvesting, that's going to be corn once again because, well, we didn't have enough corn to even feed the pigs that we have now. But at least they should be good for the amount of days it's going to take for that corn to regrow and be ready for harvest. And I can tell that's not right. There we go. But the good news is uh, we're going to have some hops to sell, uh, more canola to sell. Yeah, that, that harvester was a pain in the butt to get it going again. So I destroyed a lot of crop here trying to get it going. And once it got going, it's fine. Uh, let's hurry up and where is our harvester? Oh, goody woody, he's coming this way. This guy's having no problem harvesting the hops. Hopefully the hops are going... I, I know we looked, but I kind of forgot already how much the hops are going for. You just stop right there, dude, until uh, I get a full trailer, please. Thank you. Oh, you're going to back up that way. That's the way you are. All right, so where am I going with the hops? Um, hopsy hops. Hops are the last one. And the pricing is not the greatest. And not only that, we're going back to the grain mill, which is just right here. Uh, where my other truck is. So I think I'll move this truck first. Get him back to Canola Field. Because he's just going to be in the way. I do have the herbicide sprayer up here. He's herbiciding the weeds in this field right here that we're at. Somewhere. There he is. He's right over there. And like I said, we're planting canola in this field that has the soybeans in it. I, keep, I think I said so, uh, I was harvesting canola here. But we're actually harvesting soybeans. Replanting canola for the pigs. Um, wherever my harvester is 
we will unload him. He's not full or by any means, but uh, he's going the correct way, so we'll grab him while he's going this way. Fent is doing a wonderful job. I'm just glad he's able to harvest this soybean because, there you know, a lot of cash here. If, I could, if, if he wasn't able to harvest this, I think uh, I would have cried. So he's probably got about 30,000 liters in there, which is perfect. So that way when he gets full once again, you'll fill up our trailer. Yep, he's full. So I'm going to park this guy right here. He's good. And then we'll grab this guy. Looks like he kind of uh, didn't have the e-brake on. He almost coasted into our crops of... Uh, I want to say that might be rye. I don't know what it is. I kind of forgot. So we should get like maybe a hundred grand for this delivery right here. Oh, well, dude, uh, you got through this field pretty darn quick with that herbicide. Helper F is blocked by an object. Let's see if I can get around this guy before. Perfect. Um... Don't know who Helper F is and what he's blocked by, but we'll take care of him in just a second. Who is Helper F? It's our hops harvester. Interesting. So we can sit here and watch that money go up. Just shy of a half million dollars. So we're just about there. Of course, like always, once I get there, you know, I still got to buy all the materials we need to uh, replant the fields. But with the soybeans and uh, hops we have left to harvest, we should get over the hill. It looks like this field just hit a second growth stage. I was driving the John Deere back to the main farm to take care of the cows and grab the straw and I kind of noticed a lot of white coloring over here and I'm like wait a minute our cotton fields are ready so this guy already has a good amount of deal of cotton in it we'll hire him on a worker and he'll be busy and he can dump out his uh, pillows when he's uh, all set nope I want that still running nope it's done So we got our two combines going up north, we got our cotton harvester going, we got the T9 and Massey Ferguson trying to get the cornfield converted over. Uh, we're over here right now, picking up some silage from the cows. I don't think I've showed you yet, if I did already, uh, I'm going to repeat myself here, but I put a working station over at the parking garage, or parking area. Just because the, the van that I got, it's hard to get some things in the trigger for that. So, we'll, but we'll keep the van. Uh, the van will be good, like, if we have something out in the field that I didn't know that needed repair. Instead of bringing something all the way back, I can just bring the van up to it and take care of it that way. Let's make sure we clean out all of our animals. I do know I just have a worker that's unexpectedly stopped or stuck or whatever the case may be. Um, they'll just wait a second until we clean up the sheep and then we'll get the loading wagon on. So there's the wool over there that we got. And you can see they already got a couple pallets or a couple things in one of the wool pallets already. It'll be really nice once all the animals uh, really get to where they need to be and they really start producing uh, very well for us. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll grab the loading wagon. Well, I'll fill it up with straw. Most of our animals need straw, so. But definitely the sheep will take care of them first. They'll probably take this whole trailer and then some. And then uh, we do have to give some of the animals water as well.
All right, so silage straw right there. Uh, we do have 700,000 liters, so we're okay for a while. So who stopped once again? Why is this guy... Hmm. Usually the new helper system in 19 is pretty good at picking up crops at that of an angle. In 17, it wouldn't surprise me that they stopped that way, but in 19, they haven't been. Um, how are you doing, sir? You're about half full. Um, how much seed and fertilizer? He's good for a while, so... Yeah, he's uh, missing patches again, uh, which is expected. But we got plenty more hops and a good amount of soybean left to go. So probably get, what, one more, one more trailer of soybeans. Oh, wow, this field is already for harvest as well. Everything, everything at once. Yeah, so once this guy ends up seeding this field, I think I'll come down here and have him uh, put corn in here ASAP for the pigs. Um, we're doing cotton here. Grass fields are ready. We don't really have to ever look down south because I don't own any of those fields. Uh, I can't keep up with the ones I got up here anyways. I, mean, I got fields right here, uh, 34, 5, and 6 that I don't even touch because I just figured they're too small anyways. Uh, yeah, once this harvest is done with the soybeans, he'll come over here and we got... Uh, that's not soybean in there. I know it's not soybean. It's rye. So that's another syllable crop for us. So... I'm going to let these guys continue to work for a while. And then I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. And uh, we'll see what we're doing money-wise. And uh, see how the farm's getting along. Well, got a full trailer of hops. And the new high price is just right here once again. Not the same one, but I mean literally right here next to the two fields. So, <laughs> I think this is called Hawks Bay Traders. And I think the price is better than we had before. It's like twelve fifty now. But the main thing is, yay, we're over half a million dollars. So now I can kind of start paying off the loan when needed. Little by little. Yep, we're almost up to six hundred. So I can take a hundred thousand dollars off that loan. Uh to twenty million. It's like a little paint chip, uh <laughs> I was gonna say it's like a ding in it, but it's not even a ding. But the good news is we still got plenty more hops to go. So maybe another trailer. Of course, we got the soybeans still going. I was in the middle of giving the pigs some straw. I've already been over once. So basically, one of these trailers is taking care of about one and a half loads. Or one and a half of the pens. So I'm going to make, after this trip, I'm probably going to have to make another one over there, take care, satisfy the pigs with straw. And then, of course, I got the cows and horses to do as well. And it's kind of funny, remember in the early, couple early episodes, I was dying for grass so I can make hay and whatnot. Uh, this grass field's been ready for a couple days, and it's like, yeah, I'll get to it when I need it. Not enough time in the day, it seems like. So these pigs right there, they're taken care of. And since we're kind of going past these, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to where I was unloading to begin with, because that way I don't want to miss anyone completely. I want to make them sure they're all filled up. There we go. There's two pens taken care of. Yep, still got the belt over here because I was doing that mucking out in the rain. I'll get to it again at some point. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can take care of all these pigs right here. Or this pig pen with this one trailer still. There we go. And now for these guys over here let's not drive into that little lake or yeah right now I'm calling it a lake that's a pond but I'll have to come back here and top these guys off and then it's time for the cows and the horses well the soybean harvest is over with 
and you consider money in the upper hand corner 730,000 and yes I got a full trailer hops and right now there is it's not a great demand but the price down here for the hops right now is pretty darn good I think it was 1300 compared to what we just get like you know not, was it even like $1,100 something like that and we still got more hops to go so while that's unloading uh, our plow is done plowing this field so he's going to come up here and do this one as you can see um, we're now harvesting wow this needs lime now Jeez, everything at once um, I forgot now uh, so we're, we're also making straw here as well because of all the straw I used for the pigs, the cows, and the horses. Everyone's got straw now, so they're all set there. Uh, yeah, just all hands on deck. Uh, I got a tractor and trailer down here. He just delivered some soy. Uh, so, yeah, we're up to $850,000 right now. And like I said, we still got some more hops to go. And, of course, I kind of forgot, I just realized coming down here, I kind of forgot about our cotton harvester. Um, he must be still going. I don't know how many pillows are lying in the field. Hopefully a couple, but I <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that field is double fertilized. This cotton field right here, I think I only got one stage of fertilization on that. But when he gets done harvesting that cotton field and the other one, I'm hoping I got at least two pillows hanging around. That'd be really great. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it's almost probably about that time to wrap up the episode. But I do want to come down here and show you, see how many pillows we got in that big field. I will be interested in that. So, yeah, I decided to uh, keep the straw from this field up here. It's a small-ish field, so I don't have to, I don't feel in a rush to turn it over like I do these fields on my left-hand side. Um, yeah, I want to get these turned over as quickly as I can. Because uh, now that we're, you know, we got a half million dollars in the bank, uh, we can pay off some of that loan. I don't know how well this field is going to turn out. Trying to see inside the combine. Doesn't look like anywhere near full. Um, so how's our guy doing down here? He's still going. Well, I see one pillow over there. Uh, he's got 60,000 liters. Oh, someone's almost full again. Uh, figures. Let's take a bird's eye view. Um, so just one pillow. So another 40,000 liters. Yeah, so I may end up with just two in total. Uh, but that's 200,000 liters. So that's pretty darn good. It's our hops guy. Our hops guy. So I brought... No, that's wrong. I brought my trailer over here thinking I can get away with unloading this combine. But no. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to go unload him. Which is fine. Totally fine. Well, this guy continue his work. But I think this is where we're going to wrap up the episode, guys. Uh, yeah, start the next episode. We'll be, you know, still harvesting that field. We'll we'll probably sell uh, the cotton. That might be done uh, next episode. we got the rest of these hops to go, which isn't much. But uh, as you can see, you know, he's got about 60,000 liters in there. So we we'll probably put somewhere around 75,000 liters, somewhere around there. And, of course, i got to get the chain gang over here to plow this field. Uh, I may not cultivate anymore. I may just say heck with cultivating, get rid of the cultivator, and maybe get another seed drill for the T9. And uh, yeah, I think we'll sell the cultivator and get another seed drill. That way, I can you know really start turning these fields over just a little bit faster than what we're doing. So yeah, I think that's that's kind of a plan. Let's get rid of the cultivator because we don't really need it. I was just trying to do it to try to do it properly. But let's be honest, I'm not doing the series. Uh, we're just running around here. It's all we're doing and trying to pay off some of our loan. Which, I know you're probably thinking, why don't we pay a summer loan now? No, we're going to wait. Uh, no sense of paying it off. The loan doesn't really kick. You don't pay on the loan until midnight anyway. So, I think what we'll do is we'll wait on our harvest to get all done for the day. And before we go to bed, then so we'll pay off our some of our loan. Which, you know, we might be able to pay like a half million dollars off. Which is not bad for the first time. Because, uh, what, what, we were down to, what, $200,000? two fifty somewhere around there. So we've earned a half million dollars so far today. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time in Hawks Bay. But until then, have a good one.